In this episode, I am going to try a servo as a motor for the points through two inches of polystyrene. Stick around. Hi, and welcome back to a new episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Megapoint servo controller. I will be installing this, using this on my belt. Uh, it can handle up to 12 different points. And from the videos I saw about it, including the one that Megapoints themselves uh, have online, it's very configurable. So, anyway, my concern is not about this mainly. I know it can do the job. I don't have a problem with that. My problem is with this. Let me show you. I have temporarily installed <coughs> sorry, a point on this piece of wood with my servo mount underneath. Let me show you it working. Here goes. So far so good. I can still adjust it to uh, push even further, to push the, the rails together even tighter, but as it is, it is enough. So there is room for adjustment. But my concern is not this. My concern is because my, my layout has two inches of polystyrene between the wood and the track <coughs> plus the, uh, the cork. <coughs> and I'm concerned about the movement of this wire here, where is it here? How it is going to react uh, in the uh, in the thickness of of, uh, of the polystyrene. So I'm going to put a piece of polystyrene on this test bed here, and I'm going to try to simulate uh, what's going to happen on the layout itself. So let me set that up, and I get back to you. Okay, I've set it up on two inches of uh, polystyrene and uh, I think I got it to work. Uh, the trick is to make the hole bigger. Now that's going to be an issue with, uh, with the finish of the layout. But I was thinking of putting a metal plate and uh, making a, a hole small enough for the movement of the wire. Let me show you. The wire, in reality, doesn't travel much. It just needs clearance in the thickness of the polystyrene. Let me show you. See, it only moves the, the standard distance of, of a regular point. It's just the clearance inside that is important. So this should work even though there is that two inch of polystyrene this should work okay on the layout i'm not thrilled about it because i was very concerned until my parts arrived like i couldn't try anything now let me show you what i did underneath the board let me take this apart and excuse the flickering of the of the light it's the neon light with the with the white polystyrene background be right back okay so this is what i will have at each point this is a 3d printed uh, servo mount printed by my friend franco in the uk thanks franco um, uh, the two uh, limit switches are uh, are going to be used for uh, lights and uh, frog frog polarity so, uh, I will decide which is which later on, but very simple, I need screws for here. And um, one will be uh, frog priority, as we said, put the positive and negative here, and then this will go to the frog. And uh, we'll have LEDs here for signals and what have you. So. I think it's a very easy and affordable setup 
for people who like to uh, do things themselves more than just buying a ready device and just plug it in. I like this building and uh, buying the switches and the servo, putting it all together, the board, wiring it yourself, you know. Anyway, I'm more that kind of guy than buying it off the shelf and plug it in. Anyway, so uh, as for this, here's the board. It's programmable, very easy to do. I mean, you have, you can download and, and print your instructions here. Very easy to follow. There's a video by the, by the manufacturer uh, is very well explained. Okay, and also, I don't know the terminology for it, but you can program uh, macros in such a way that with one switch, you can change uh, uh, the points in, in, not one point, in two or three or four points. You can program them all together if you want to. I mean, if you have somewhere that you, you pass regularly and you have to change three or four points, you just one flip of a switch and uh, it will do them all at once. And with the option of having them individually as well. So, pretty good, I think. And it wasn't that expensive. Anyway, let me get this working. And uh, hopefully one day I'll have it on the layout and uh, I'll be able to show you a bit better because next video after this will be uh, the, the making of the uh, the yard and the yard is going to have quite a few points and while laying them down I want to make sure they're in the right position so I can hang on a minute so I can install more of these and, and get them to work as I go so until the next one take care and be safe